Yeah, I, I, I clearly will not say that I have one single favorite because of all the other people who'd be terribly disappointed next time I go into that restaurant, they might not be um, so kind to me. There are lots of good restaurants in New York. I, I try to eat it. Most of them, since I'm A, not married, B, don't cook, uh, it leaves me um, every night eating somewhere and often somewhere different. Uh, but that's a great experience because it enables me to, to share a lot of time with friends. Uh, New York is a foodie's um, pleasure. Everywhere you turn, there's somebody with a new idea. And the ideas are getting better. It's not just sort of the great tradition of, of Paris or, or other places uh, which had a real uh, awakening here in the United States. There's a lot of very good restaurants. We're like European restaurants. Today you see you know, the ethnicity of food uh, here in this city. And there are a whole bunch of places that I like. I mean, they're just, you know, too numerous to name one. But, I mean, it would certainly uh, include the best restaurants like La Bernadette, where they make, as, you know, it's a three-star restaurant, Michelin three-star. Uh, great, great French food, food prepared well. But for me, primarily, the best thing you can do is go to stay to the Lower East Side and find some little place in which there are ten tables and, and somebody back there who has a passion for cooking. Uh, it's that kind of place that turns me on, where it's real, it's, it's, not, it's not fancy, uh, but the food is often served simple, uh, and, and the people who serve it you know, care about you being in their place. If, that, if you have those ingredients, then um, it really makes for a good experience, plus um, someone whose company you enjoy and good wine. What about the last meal? Oh, the last meal probably would be um, even be simply because of, of where I grew up. It would be one of two things, chicken or fish. If it would be chicken, it would be fried chicken. Uh, if it was fish, it would probably, I mean, this will surprise a lot of people. I have, for a long time, had a great love of bluefish uh, because, one, you can catch bluefish at a lot of places uh, along the shore where I live, and, and I've always liked bluefish. But, I mean, I seafood and the sea you know, are things that make me um, feel better about life. I mean, there's nothing better than getting up in the morning and, and uh, walking on the beach and then, you know, before, before you end the day, you know, having fish that were caught that day uh, and bring them and, and, and in a sense have a chef or somebody in the group who knows how to cook them. So let's say fried chicken. Let's second, let's say if there was no fried chicken around, uh, bluefish. But the list that they have suggested are interesting because I, when you, all those chefs had amazing ideas. I mean, there, there were some great chefs. One of them said a, a very good hamburger, which is not a bad idea either. Uh, so there are lots of good things that do. And the book is an interesting idea, uh, this whole sense of, of what would be your last meal.